Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Uta Macross with me. So this time around, we're going to talk about the gachas. Uh, and of course, right now as of I'm recording this video, Kaname's gacha is going to end in just a few hours. So with that in mind, um, keep this video in mind just for the knowledge of the episode play itself. If it happens that Kaname's episode play uh, it reappears again in those reappearing gachas, uh, definitely, if you have the singing stones, you might want to uh, obtain it via that method. So, let's dive into the gacha and take a look at Kaname's episode plate, what it does. So, here we go. Okay, so, first of all, main thing is, it is a pink color plate. Very important, because if ever you need to use uh, episode plates with the same color, Kaname's definitely can be used uh, if you need to have... Uh, a boost and score. Okay, it can only be equipped by four divas, so I'm surprised that Basara is actually one of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, so active skill. Alright, for 10 seconds, your score will be boosted by 100% up, which is fantastic. So, Kaname's episode play is the second episode play out there that can boost your score up by 100%. The first one, if I recall, was actually Cheryl Gnomes, so that's pretty awesome. So, Definitely, we are stepping into a new era of uh, Uta Macross where the plates are starting to give you better percentage of boost uh, in terms of abilities. <coughs> okay, for its life skill, at the 30, 35 second mark for 10 seconds, right? Um, yeah, so basically, um, your accuracy will be increased. So, like, let's say, for example, you have. Um, to tap notes and somehow your, your reaction time isn't as fast as um, you, you normally are because of fa uh, fatigue and all this or maybe there's some challenge out there that um, shrinks the accuracy down and well the life, the life skill definitely will help you out because um, you know if you're kind of if you're, if you're a player that is um, uh, constantly clumsy or um, because you have to prep yourself up to become more accurate in terms of pressing because for myself I I do need some uh, a few rounds of plays before I actually get myself to my full um, I would say focus attention uh, attention span or get myself really hyped to play a song <laughs> so that I can actually pull it off with a full perfect combo uh, that kind of thing so yeah, so this kind of life skill is definitely useful, uh, especially when it comes to uh, challenges within events itself that actually reduces the size of the accurate range of each tap. Alright, so here we go. Sadly to say, Kaname's plate doesn't come with any special notes, um, which is kind of sad. But overall, this plate, however, um, I would say it's doing pretty well for its own uh, because of all its stats like its total here is 3211 uh, which is on the average range of all the 6 star episode plates and of course its voice and charm are the high highlights of this plate which is what exactly we need in this current event um, it is not the highest Cheryl Gnome's plate in the last event had the highest charm which was about 1008 but of course, plates like those, even though they focus on one specific um, element or entity of points, well, the rest of them will be very low. So, unless you're playing a particular event that requires both of them, then plates like Kanamis will definitely be helpful in such scenarios. Alright, center skill. So, center skill. Units total voice and charm. Not, not total, sorry. Units voice and charm is increased by 45% up. So definitely Kaname's plate is useful in terms of high score challenges. So I highly recommend uh, getting Kaname's plate especially if you're lacking in the heart element um, episode plates plus if you need plates for high score um, this is definitely something you would want to get uh, hold of. So currently we are in the last few hours of uh, this current gacha for Kaname's plate I'm so sorry I couldn't put this video out earlier because I've been busy with work and stuff. Um, but you know, with all this information in mind, you can actually save up your singing stones and uh, hopefully once the episode plate returns into the gacha, um, you can try and uh, get your hands on it. 
Alright, so with this in mind, um, we will talk about uh, Reina's gacha in just a moment once the gacha rolls out. Alright guys, so it's a brand new day as you can see, Reina's gacha is finally out with the big chance up. So if we pull during this period, it will definitely have a higher chance of obtaining her plate. But of course, many of us will probably know this big chance up sometimes really have to be uh, blessed by RNG Jesus. So <laughs> anyway guys, let's take a look at Reina's plate and see whether how useful Reina's plate is and whether it is worth pulling it out or not. Alright, so let's take a look at the 6 star status. Of course, um, it can only be equipped by these 4 divas. So yes, still strangely enough, Basara is one of them. <laughs> Alright, so it's center skill, or rather it's active skill. Um, it recovers 30% of your HP. Now, if you take note, usually uh, if you notice that there is a ranking for the skills, uh, it, it, it will actually point the direction of what kind of episode click this is. So if its active skill is a rank A, it means that it's probably not meant to be used as a center episode plate or an active skill episode plate which is usually the center episode plate on the diva itself so if you're not familiar with the terms well basically when you equip your center diva um, with the first episode plate that episode plate is your active episode plate and your center episode plate so you will have both active skill and center skill activated uh, when it is the first episode plate equipped on your center diva. I know it's a lot of words to digest, but you should probably be quite familiar with it now if you've been playing with Harm Across for quite some time. Well, if you haven't, uh, eventually I will have uh, videos talking about episode plates and or rather your diva setups uh, specifically on that matter. Alright, so as you can see, the life skill here has an S rank status, which is what this episode plate is about. It is an episode plate that is a support plate. Um, basically, it's equipped to your other divas on the sidelines or even on your center diva as a backup episode plate. It means the last two episode plates on your center diva. The alive skill will be activated. So, what is Reina's episode plate supposed to do in the live skill position? Basically, at the beginning of 30 seconds, um, well, it lasts for 7 seconds, your score will be boosted up by 80%. So as you can see, it is not the best um, score boosting skill, um, 80%, well, but considering that it is a live skill, 80% is exceptionally high for a live skill. And of course, if you take a look here, the next tab, there is no special notes given to Reina's episode plate as well, so that's kind of sad. So overall, if you come to think about it, Reina's episode plate is moon miss sorry, it's mostly just used as a support live uh, skill episode plate. So it is not a main uh, episode plate that it be used for its uh, here we go its center skill so as you can see the center skill is a rank a center skill so all the love element plates which is the pink ones on the unit that this episode plate is equipped on uh, basically any of the four divas that have its face lighted up here if you have it equipped on them as the center episode plate if this skill will come into activation but do take note, it's only a 25% boost for a 6 star episode plate. So that is kind of sad. So is Reina's plate actually worth it to pull it out? I would say probably not unless you're aiming for high scores on um, songs or lives that is specifically love element plates. Um, because, well, if you take note of this, Reina's plate has a charm value of 2050 which is higher than what I've mentioned in the earlier portion of this video where Cheryl Gnome's plate actually had a charm value uh, of 1800 or so. Um, so yeah, Reina's definitely is higher than Cheryl Gnome's and of course its total score is 3300 which is slightly higher than the average uh, episode plate. Um, which is fantastic. So Reina's plate um, 
is it actually worth to pull? In my opinion, I would probably say no. Um, cause, um, well, it is more of a specific kind of episode plate, uh, mainly used for high score challenging, um, for well, pink element songs. But on the average, um, it is a pretty pretty decent plate for its uh life skill. So, um, yeah. So consider certain factors, you know, um and weigh your options. If you need supportive episode plates, go ahead and try and obtain Rina's plate. But in overall terms, um, this plate is on the average side of uh, obtaining. I would say, uh, if I were to put it on a percentage value of how important this plate is, I'll probably rank it about 65% important. So it is higher than the 50% range of getting it. So only if you have the spare amount of um, singing stones, uh, I'll highly recommend you to pull this plate. If not, you can actually give this a pass. The plate that I will highly recommend you to pull among the two gachas that have been um, have surfaced for this current event uh, would definitely be Kaname's. Kaname's episode plate is definitely much better than Reina's, but Reina's episode plate, however, has the better image, I would say. <laughs> um, but that's just biasness for me. I, I like Reina a lot. So, <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at the costume of um, Kaname and um, Reina's. So we'll let, take, let's take a look at Reina's one first. Um, Reina's one, well, um, her costume does have the boost of charm. Um, so charm, yes, is the uh, heart element. So it increases 10% up. So like, like I said, um, Arena's episode plate focus more on charm or uh, love element songs. Um, so yeah, unlike Kaname's, Kaname's is a balance of both charm and voice, uh, the yellow element. So in ter with that in mind, okay, the costume for Arena and uh, her episode plate are kind of more of a specialization um, how is it? Uh, specialization factor. So yeah, kan while Kaname's is a bit more universal. So Kaname's is definitely a must get uh, for people who are planning to uh, go against high score challenges or to up your player ranks and all this kind of thing. Reina, you know, on the other hand, sadly to say, even though she is uh, well, best girl diva in Delta for me, um, her costume is very very pretty very very pretty <laughs> um, but in terms of usefulness in the game I would say you can definitely give this a pass um, if you're just playing the uh, Uta Macross for competitive value so yeah okay I don't know whether I have Kanami's costume inside the my game account so let's just take a look and see uh, okay let's see I definitely do not have her costume unlocked. Okay, so as you can see here, um, Kaname's costume gives voice and charm a 6% up, just like her episode plate, which focuses on voice and charm. So definitely Kaname's episode plate is m definitely more worth it than Reina's episode plate uh, if, you're term if you're comparing it on the uh, competitive level. So if you're talking about collector's value, um, definitely you will want to get both of them to unlock both costumes um, but that is if you have enough singing stones to um, try and obtain the episode plate itself but if you're talking about a competitive level Kaname's episode plate is definitely a must get uh, Reina's on the other hand is definitely a secondary option um, especially if you need um, supportive episode plates so guys, with all of that in mind, this is my tip to you guys. Spend your singing stones wisely, make sure you study the episode plates and uh, compare with what you have currently in your arsenal of episode plates and pull whichever that you actually need. So yeah, um, costume unlocking is definitely important as well. Make sure you go through the list of uh, Diva's costumes and see which ones you need. Uh, especially since that they, they focus on specific uh, values and percentage ups 
um, you know, when when they are wearing the costumes itself. Alright guys, so hopefully as usual this information is uh, very very informative for you guys or helpful to you guys. Um, yeah, I'm doing this kind of in a rush because I've only got like uh, 2 or 3 hours before I head to work and I have to settle certain things myself. So guys, I apologize if the video is kind of like a very <laughs> impromptu or uh, not professionally set up in terms of scripting. Uh, I'm just going with the wind. Uh, yeah, and uh, bringing out news to you guys. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video of Utah Macross. Until then, bye!